Welcome ladles and jelly spoons to Kai Matthews YouTube channel coming at you live via videotape from the orbital broadcast bunker Britain's first and only airborne subterranean studio don't you know Right now last week we looked at the 1996 PlayStation Classic Tomb Raider so naturally this week we are looking at the sequel from 1997 Tomb Raider 2 the second installment in the Tomb Raider video game series developed by Core Design and published by Eidos Interactive The game builds upon the success of its predecessor introducing new features, environments and challenges whilst retaining the core gameplay mechanics. In Tomb Raider 2, players once again assume the role of Lara Croft who embarks upon a new adventure to retrieve the legendary Dagger of Zion, a powerful artifact with the ability to turn its bearer into a powerful dragon. The game takes place across various locations around the world including the Great Wall of China, Venice and Tibet. The gameplay elements of Tomb Raider 2 closely follow the formula established in the original game. Players navigate Lara through expansive 3D environments, solving puzzles, avoiding traps and battling enemies. The game maintains its emphasis on exploration, platforming and combat, combining action sequence with intricate environmental puzzles. Did you know that this game is actually responsible for the delay of the UK band Prodigy's third album, The Fats of the Land, because all of the band members got sidetracked playing this game on their PlayStations? Hmm. Tomb Raider 2 introduced several notable additions to the series. One significant addition was the ability to drive vehicles, such as a motorboat and a snowmobile, which provides new ways to traverse the game's environments. The game also expands Lara's arsenal with new weapons like the M16 rifle and harpoon gun, offering players more options for combat. The graphics and visuals in Tomb Raider 2 were improved compared to the first game, with enhanced details and more vibrant environments. The game continued to employ the iconic fixed camera angles, though it allowed for more dynamic perspectives and camera movement. <laughs> Have you played Tomb Raider 2? Personally, it is my favourite by far of the original core design developed series. And if you didn't know, a while back we actually looked at Tomb Raider 3 in our retrospective review when the game turned 20 years old. Be sure to check that video out after this one. Uh, link in the description down below. And you know what else you'll find down there? Links to all our other social media platforms, so you know, be sure to check them out as well. Similar to its predecessor, Tomb Raider 2 received positive reviews from both critics and players. It was praised for its captivating gameplay, challenging puzzles and immersive atmosphere. The game's success solidified the franchise's position as one of the most popular and influential series in the game's industry. Following the release of Tomb Raider 2, the franchise continued to expand with additional sequels, spin-offs and adaptations across various media. The game's success contributed to the enduring popularity of Lara Croft as an iconic, influential character in video game history. It might be worth noting that Tomb Raider 2 was recently covered in UK Retro Gamer magazine. It's certainly worth a read if you've never read it before. Speaking of things you might never have done before, are you subscribed to the channel? Hmm? Well, if not, please consider doing so. It helps us grow our little spot here on YouTube. And before we go... Back to the badgers! So, Pat, what can we expect to see tonight? I'd say uh, not much. Well, I'd say sweet F.A., to put it frankly. I, I see. Uh, but, but will they not start searching for food soon? Yeah, they might do. You, uh, you seem a little sceptical. Yeah, well, they are. Fire three shots at them this afternoon. Isn't, isn't that rather dangerous? No, yeah, sometimes your finger gets uh, jammed in trigger. I mean, isn't it harmful for the Badgers. Well, it doesn't do them a lot of good, put it that way. Uh, I think before we start getting the wrong sort of comments, it might be an idea to end it there. So, cheerio, see you next week. Now, Pat, put that bloody gun down. Don't you think you've seen enough? <laughs>